a volcano is here and like these are lava rocks. Ding! Ding. Oh god. It's just crazy to me how they made these little dwellings on the side of the cliff. everybody and welcome back to our channel <laughs> <laughs> for today's adventure um actually we have some explaining to do real quick so we are where are we we are in arizona we are staying in flagstaff arizona because we are doing a little road trip back home so let me stop real quick because we're in a really awesome place look at this lava this is lava rocks so anyways we have finally left california we are doing a road trip back home to see my family in north carolina and we are so excited it's so unreal that like we're finally out of california because yeah. we've been there for so long we were there for almost nine <laughs> yeah, months yeah almost nine months yeah wow. it was a good time yeah. so much of fun we made a lot of good friends yeah. so we actually left yesterday from california and we drove here to arizona to flagstaff arizona it took about what nine hours nine and a half hours for us to get here so yeah yesterday we didn't record anything because it was not a very fun travel day <laughs> literally everything wanted to go wrong it was just a very stressful day anyways we finally made it to our little motel and relaxed ate some pizza last night and slept in this morning and now we're at this lava field i think the mountain over there i think that's the volcano it's called sunset crater volcano it's like some national monument we're on this trail right now it's called I don't know how to pronounce it, but here's the name of it. I think it's like a tiny little loop trail. A volcano is here and like these are lava rocks. It's like really, really neat. That's the first thing we're doing today. Then we're going to go somewhere else, another national monument. I'll show you that later. So follow along. It's going to be a fun, chill day. The rest of this week, we have some big things planned. Yeah. Today is just kind of a chill day. Come on with us on the lava trail. See ya. <laughs> the map after we had already done the trail but we did this one can you see it it's called the uh, uh trail this one we want to do but it's closed so we're gonna drive further down and we're gonna do the lava flow trail next okay so we are now on the lava flow trail it's about like three-fourths of a mile long i believe and the volcano is right there that's a little crater volcano how cool is that there was a fire here in 2022 that burned down like 60 percent of the monument which is crazy there's one trail that we want to do but it's closed off right now it's another crater trail that you can do which i wish we could do because you're not allowed to climb the sunset crater so anyways we're enjoying this nice beautiful slow day this is awesome the weather is nice it's perfect Okay, so we got to this really cool thing, this cool geological volcanic thing called a spatter cone. And in Spanish, they call it a hornito. And it forms when lava is forced out through an opening in the cooled surface of a lava flow. And they are fed by the underlying flow rather than a deep magma conduit. Oh, it says this spatter cone is loosely welded. Protect this fragile feature from damage by viewing it from the trail and do not climb it. So if you ever come here, don't go inside. It's very fragile. So anyways, it's really cool though. So we got to one more really awesome lava geological thing. It's called a squeeze up. This section here of lava and it forms as pasty lava from beneath the surface oozes through a crack in the lava crust, like toothpaste squeezed from a tube. Vertical grooves appear where the lava scrapes against the walls of the crack. Can you imagine just being here to witness this? I mean, obviously you probably won't be here if you witness this, but it'd be cool to like see in person, but like from a safe distance or you wouldn't die. Anyway, pretty cool.
Well, update. So we finished the lava flow trail and we drove a little bit further down the road to this overlook. Very, very tiny. So thankfully no one else is here. It's just us for right now. But it's a tiny little like roundabout. Not really any parking, but you can park on the side. And yeah, you can just see the other side of the volcano here. I wish we could see the top of it, but you're not allowed to climb it or hike up it. It looks like it'd be pretty steep. I'm sure people have tried, but don't do it. They say not to do it, so don't do it. All right, little fun fact. The Sunset Crater Volcano is a nearly symmetrical cinder cone formed in the mid 1080s. That's a long time ago. A thousand years? A little less than that. Here's the here's the math for you guys. Ow, my elbow. All right, we're on our little lunch break. Ew, I sound like I'm still at work. Guess what we're having again? We're having pizza. Let me, let me, let me show you pizza. Let me tell you guys real quick. So we have had a change of plan, a change of heart. So originally our biggest adventure this week was gonna be going to Grand Canyon and hiking the Rim to Rim Trail from North Kabah to the Bright Angels Trailhead. And it was gonna be like 24 miles long. It was gonna be hot down there, but thankfully not as bad. It's kind of cooler right now this week. It still would have been a really tough, challenging, awesome thing to do, but the logistics of it just wasn't working out. So first off, to get from the South Rim to the North Rim, driving time is like four to five hours. And and you have to take a shuttle because we would have to keep our car parked at one rim, hike to the other side of the rim and take the shuttle back or vice versa, take the shuttle then hike back to our car. So we found out that the shuttle that goes back and forth from one rim to the other, total was going to be like $254. Yeah, that's a lot. <sighs> that's a lot. We're trying to be on a budget while we're doing our road trip because I'm not yeah. going to start working until October 16th. That's when my next travel contract is going to start. The plan was going to park our car at the south rim, take the shuttle to north rim, but there's only two times either 8 a.m. or 1.30 p.m. The time that the shuttle drops you off are just like not good times to start your hike. So we yeah. just said, no, we'll do it at another time, you know? It'd be fun to backpack that trail, honestly, so you don't have to do it all yeah. in one day. So we're gonna come back and plan it another time, maybe later, like in October. I think that'd be a much better time, cooler mm -hmm. temperatures. That's it for now, we're gonna eat pizza. And then go to the other place. We'll show you where we're going next. Don't have energy. <laughs> oh my freaking God, look at that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> This looks huge. Okay. Pizza for the second time. We had it last night as well. So here we go. Let's have a slice. Bam. Ding. Ding. Oh God. Mmm. It is actually really good. <laughs> this is much better than the one we had yesterday. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What we had Domino's last night? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Domino's was alright. It was good. But this is way better. What is this? Pizza Edge and Flagstaff. We're here, there we are. <laughs> Where we are? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a question? We're at the Walnut Canyon National Monument. Monument. Yes, thanks. Yes. You're, You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's packed. It is packed. It is packed, it's yeah. Packed. A lot of cars, like, lots of people. So we're going to do this short little trail here. I think it's called the Island Trail. And there's some more trails here too, but I'm not sure exactly where they are. So we're going to try to find some signs. Hopefully there's a map somewhere that can tell us like, you know, where to go. But I'm so excited for this. I hope I'm going to learn a lot about like indigenous people back in the day and yeah. how they lived. Let's go. Oh! Okay, so we are hiking the island trail now and we've been on it for a little while. I think we're like almost done with the tiny little loop part and then we gotta go up like 270 some steps. You gotta go back up. So this is really neat, like showing all the like the houses that indigenous people lived in way back when. It's just crazy to me how they made these little dwellings on the side of the cliff. If this path wasn't built here, it'd be so scary to like walk on. It's just amazing what they did back then. But we're gonna keep going. I think we're almost done with this trail and then we're gonna do something else. I don't know yet. We'll keep you updated. So follow along.
we are done with the Walnut Canyon National Monument. We're heading back out and we are going towards a new place. It is called Pitcher Canyon Trailhead. It's a tiny trail. I, I don't think it's too far. So we're gonna go do that. And then after we do that last little trail, we're gonna head to REI and Walmart because we have to get some snacks, some energy gels, because we got a tough hike tomorrow. I cannot wait to show you and tell you all about it. Stay tuned for that video because this is gonna be awesome. Can't wait. We are at the Pitcher Canyon Natural Reserve Preserve area. And we are doing a 2.8 mile loop trail. It's called the Tom Moody Loop Trail. And I honestly wasn't expecting it to be that long but it said it's relatively flat nothing crazy pretty easy apparently it has lots of points of interest like an old railroad area and petroglyphs or and some some stuff like that so yeah. sounds super cool yeah, and i feel like anything under 10 miles is easy peasy for us <laughs> honestly <laughs> it was just kind of midday and i'm like mm, we have to save our legs for tomorrow oh yeah. my god i cannot wait tomorrow. to show you guys <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> stay tuned let's go All I did was sleep and I looked out the window, looked at the birdies, and I had a great time all by myself because you two weren't here to bother me. Nice to see you again, Tubby. Anyways, <laughs> we're back in our little motel room. We have pizza back here that we're gonna eat, leftovers, and we're gonna relax because we have a big day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I know I keep saying this, but stay tuned. You will not want to miss <laughs> next week's video. So, anyways, I have a question for you. you ready? Go ahead. You, are you ready? I'm ready. Do you know your limitations? Do I you have water. I do have water. I know my limitation and I'm ready for it. There, okay. <laughs> Inside joke. Anyway. What was your favorite part of today? In general, I'll just tell you the favorite hike overall. It was the Sunset Crater one. My favorite trail. It was in the Walnut Canyon National Monument area and it's called the Island Trail. Alright you guys, we are going to dig into this pizza. Wow. Ding. Mmm. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this video. Make sure you comment below because we just don't get that many comments. I would love comment. Thank you, please. And hit that notification bell so you stay tuned for all the next videos, especially next week's video because you're going to want to see that one. <laughs> see you in the next one. Bye. Good. It doesn't have to be too far. No, you come back. Come back. <laughs> I'm all by myself. <laughs> Do it wider. <laughs>